Andrew McDonald again. We're talking to Alan Wilson right now from Tripwire Interactive and The Killing 2. How are you doing, Alan? I'm doing good, thanks. Doing good. So, I'm going to be honest. I didn't get to play The Killing Floor 1. I wanted to. I just never got around to buying it. I'm Jeez. buying. Uh, yeah, I'm a cheap <laughs> I'm buying The Killing Floor too. We just saw a demo and it looks phenomenal. So can you tell me about some of the changes that have happened since the first yeah, one? Yeah, we've done I mean, we've done a lot with the game since the first time around. I mean, we've done things like in the first game there was six perks, but seven perks, six levels of, uh, of that you can level up your perks. Mm. We we realized that the, for example the leveling up system it got a little complicated. So we've simplified that down. And this time around there'll be 10 10 perks each with 25 levels, so there's a much bigger expanse, because you realize people got through those levels so fast in some cases. And not me, I wasn't good enough, but that's another story. So we've changed the perk system, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on there. We've added in uh, a small skill tree, we're not trying to turn this into an RPG, but we want people with the, um, with the perks to be able to choose how they play their perks. You know, so they can pick particular skills that suit the way they want to play generally and how they want to play today. You know, there's perks which are very much uh, to help me and perks which are very much to help the team. It's a co-op shooter. So it depends what you're doing today. You know, if you're playing with people you don't like, choose the ones that help you out. So there's the perk system we've changed. We're changing up the difficulty stuff. You know, one of the things we're doing at difficulty levels, you know, we've been joking here in the demos that um, we had to invent new difficulty levels. Just, you know, we put the game out with what we thought was difficult, hard enough difficulty, and it wasn't nearly difficult enough. You know, so we now have uh, a difficulty level that we brought in with the first game called Hell on Earth. Uh, and that's designed to be so difficult that nobody in the office can actually beat it. Wow. Um, but there's people out here who beat it and play thousands of hours. But the other thing, you know, difficulty levels in games, we realized people get a bit boring with that. They do, it, it's a numbers game. You know, the bad guys take more bullets, they become more bullet, you know, bigger bullet sinks, and they do you more damage. There's that stuff going on. But what we wanted to add in as well was, let's get the AI to actually smarten up. And, you know, hey, they're zombies, they're not going to get smart and sit there discussing Nietzsche with you. But what they are going to do is learn new moves. Yeah, so I mean, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. In the demo, you guys played it on easy, and the zombies were your typical shambling kind <laughs> yeah. of shoot them in the That's head, right. they die, walking dead kind of zombies. Yep. But then he jacked it up on hard, and it's like, the zombie's walking. No, now it's pissed off. Now it's running. Now it's jumping. Now it's swinging stuff. Yep. It's, so it clearly made a difference. It wasn't just, I do less damage, and they take more damage. It was yeah, that's the, thing, is the we entire just, strategy change. Yeah, we, this is it. We wanted to make it so that, uh, you know, you're going to get, as you go up through the difficult levels, you're going to get new surprises. You're going to get new things happening, a wider variety of things happening. Just killing floor, we realized, I mean, people, we've met, a significant number of people who played 3,000 plus hours of the game, you know, which is Jeez. phenomenal. I mean, you're talking about people playing an hour a day every day for five years, <laughs> you know, which is amazing, and we, you know, uh, uh, and we love supporting those people. So it's coming out on Steam early access soon. It's going to be in 2015. We're not putting it. We're not putting dates to it because that always gets us in trouble. This is true. So 2015, um, still relatively soon. Next year. Yeah, that's well. That's next year sometime. Yeah. We've talked. Yeah, we said we're, the, the, the aim is early access. You know, um, and we're making the point that we're not trying to do. This is not early, as we said in the demo. This is not early access. Oh, look, we'll finish our game sometime yeah. soon if you can give us some money, please. Mm. This is about we'll have the game finished, done. Dusted, everything working. Um, but for us, what it's about is balance. It sounds good. Well, Alan, thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, like we said, The Killing Floor 2, it's coming out in 2015. It's going to be on Steam for PC. Check out their website, check out any footage you see coming out. It's going to be awesome. I'm telling you guys. So, see you later. Thank you very much.